Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm super stoked. I just literally got a case of miniatures early from Santa Claus to open up tonight. Hell yeah! So in case you guys don't know, I've been opening up full cases of the Icons of the Realms miniatures. And this is Monster Menagerie 3. I am super stoked. I pre-ordered this case like I've done with all of the other cases that have come out since 2014 with the Tyranny of Dragons. And I basically, when I was still living in Florida, I just hoarded the cases. No pun intended for Horde of the Dragon Queen or anything. I know, that was pretty bad. I almost feel like worm food now. But I, I've been stacking those cases in my closet in Florida for years because I never had anywhere to display them. But now that I've moved, I'm in El Paso, I've got this beautiful new shelving system. I've been, uh, I've actually unopened, well, I've actually taken all of my un unopened cases and opened them up now. And uh, you can watch all those videos on YouTube. I'm like a big kid. You know, when I get a rare, I went back and I watched a couple, especially with like the, the King Hecadin on the last possible pack of the case. I got him. Oh, that was, it was great. It was, uh, that was so clutch. It was so MacGyver, but, uh, it's been fun to go back and watch it. So Monster Menagerie, it was just released two days ago. Uh, and I've been opening these and having a good time with them. Uh, I've been ordering these for years from Miniature Market. And they're 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 not cheap, but they're not super expensive either. And you get uh, 32 booster packs for a total of uh, $399. And uh, I also, when I order them, I also order them with the special bonus promo figure that uh, there's a a special promo figure that that comes with every series. And this is, I believe, the eighth or ninth series now. That's come out with the icons of the rounds. Uh, so I've got my. This is the special promo figure. This is actually a really big box. This is probably the biggest promo box that I've gotten. And the promo uh, figure, you can buy these independently. They're rather expensive if you buy them independently. They are about, uh, about $70 or so independently. Or you can purchase a full entire case uh, with the promo, and it's like $399. So um, I know some people will say, ah, it's a lot of money you spend on miniatures. Bah, 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 bah. There are children starving in Africa and South America. Well, some people smoke, some people drink, some people gamble. I buy miniatures, so, and I buy D&D &D stuff. So that is that is how I waste any kind of money that I have extra, which isn't a whole lot. So two cases of these come out a year, so you figure I spend about eight hundred dollars a year on minis and stuff. So he hey check this out. I'll open this up in just a few minutes, but I, I use a, a, a website called Minis Gallery. And this is a really cool site. It breaks it down into all the different types of miniatures from Icons of the Realm to Star Wars, the Starfinder to the WizKids D and D stuff. So check out mini minisgallery.com and uh, go to the Dungeons and Dragons, and then you can go to Icons of the Realms, and this shows you all of the different uh, booster sets that have come out. And like I said, I've gotten every one of these, and I've actually, I've actually gotten all of the miniatures except for 33. So out of all these sets, I'm all and all of the promos, I'm only missing 33 miniatures. And that's, you know, and I've bought you know, this is my 8th case now. So that's that's still a pretty good amount. But the miniatures that I'm missing, I'm actually missing I'm missing three normal miniatures. I'm missing uh, a very rare Uthgart Barbarian, uh, a rare Blank Dog, and a rare Grell. So I'm missing those out of the Rage of Demons. Uh, and I'm missing 30 invisible miniatures from all the other uh, sets. And those are very rare. And they're like a clear plastic miniature. 
Uh, I don't know why they made invisible miniatures. I have no clue. It befuddles me as to why they do that. You're going to put an invisible miniature on your map or your tiles or your whatever you're using for terrain. And the players are going to know where the invisible person is. So it it's kind of pissing in a fan pointed directly in your face. I don't know. That's, that's how I can explain it. I know it's not the, the most artistic way, but it's pretty blunt. But yeah, uh, it just doesn't make any sense to have invisible miniatures, but they are very rare and I do collect them. So there you go. Uh, so no, I do not paint my own miniatures. Uh, best pilot, welcome to the channel. Uh, I'm super into miniatures too. I have about 3,000, 3,500 or so miniatures. Uh, I've got uh, pretty much all of the 4th edition miniature game. Uh, all of them. Uh, I think I'm missing about 4 or 5 of those. And they're from... They're actually the the small little uh, holiday sets that they did. I just never, you know, pff, never bought them. So, But I do have the 4th edition. I'm actually debating on putting that up uh, as an auction on eBay. Uh, I think I'm just going to stay with the Icons of the Realms. So I'm thinking about doing that. Uh, I've also got a ton of extra Icons of the Realms, and a lot of people have been asking when I'm going to put my eBay lot up there. Uh, there's going to be hundreds of miniatures in this set, everything from giants to dragons to rares to invisible miniatures, all kinds of stuff. So now that I've got the last box, the Monster Menagerie 3 that just came out, I will be making a video for that. And I will also be putting that lot on eBay. I'll be starting it at one penny, and uh, I'm going to let everybody bid. Now, I'll give everybody plenty of time uh, in my Discord, on social media, and all that other stuff. So a lot of people have been asking when I'm going to sell those extra miniatures, and I, it'll probably be within the next week now. So I just need to put it together and get pictures, a video, and uh, let every to so I can let everybody see, you know, what they're going to be getting in this lot. So, all right. So, without further ado, let's check out uh, what this Monster Menagerie Three consists of. Uh, let's see. You can see that there's going to be a total of 44 miniatures, which is really good. That gives me a great chance to getting everything, and actually, in including all of the. Uh, uh, the ultra rare invisible miniature, so which is pretty nice. So there's a. I, I was really concerned about a lot of regurgitation on miniatures, but this is actually really nice. This is a really nice set, except for when you get to the dragon, uh, not to the dragons, but to the giants. That they are totally putting a ton more giants in here, which we don't need giants. We've already had a ton of giants already come out with set number four uh, for the Storm King's Thunder. I've got probably 40 giants, but that's okay. These are actually pretty good looking, pretty good looking giants. So, but like I said, there's 44. I cannot wait to see the, the fire uh, giant dreadnought. I cannot wait to see that. I cannot wait to get my hands on that. I cannot wait to get my uh, hands on this uh, gibbering mouther. And I cannot wait to get my hands on this mesoloth. This mesoloth looks just amazing. So I may even give a couple miniatures out tonight uh, as uh, giveaways. We'll see what I get for uh, doubles and stuff. If I get something with like four or five or something, maybe I'll give out a couple of miniatures, uh, maybe a couple of beholder stickers. I've got some extra beholder stickers as well. And uh, I'm also wondering if, if the Monster Menagerie 3 is going to have any kind of gift codes like for Neverwinter Online or... Or that awesome turn-based game that D and D came out called uh, what is that? I don't know. It was so bad. It was uh, I forgot the name of it. So let's go ahead and look at the the Kraken and Islands case because this is the incentive. So let me. Uh, this is it right here. There should be a boat, a Kraken. Man, I'll tell you what, Captain uh, Captain Ahab would like this. So let's turn on my. Let's go back to the webcam number two. I need to turn this on. I need to get my production truck in gear tonight. So here we go. Here's the uh, here's the case, and there's my address and everything else. Everybody can come and visit me now. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I, I believe in uh, the right to bear arms. So <laughs> there you go. 
Here we go. There's my address again, everybody. <laughs> God bless it. So here's uh, here's the Icons of the Realm Monster Menagerie 3. Wow, this looks really nice. Let me get this box out of the way. This looks super awesome, man. The pre-painted plastic figure. And this is the, uh, this is the Kraken. Man, look at that. That looks good. I am totally not going to open this up. <laughs> I'm not opening this up yet, guys. So... I leave all of the, the promo stuff uh, wrapped up, so, well, boxed up. This looks really good. I like that little little uh, captain's wheel with the, the, the skeleton and the loot and stuff. Man, I will definitely release the Kraken in another video, that's for sure. Yeah, this looks good. Treasure box, and, and, and you can use this stuff for, for your tiles and stuff, too. I mean, you don't have to just use it. I mean, hell, you can you can take that uh, that treasure chest and you can use it. Or, hell, you can even have a Kraken come up out of a out of the floor of your dungeon. Why not, man? <laughs> so, the components in here are a Kraken, six testicles. I mean, tentacles. Sorry about that. I, I misread that. I need to put on my glasses, probably. But it says uh, six tentacles, uh, two sandbars, one rowboat, one treasure chest, and one pile of treasure. Awesome. So all this is in the box. Ooh. I might put that Kraken in a dungeon on my players, maybe in the Lost Mine of Fandelver when I run it. <gasps> Ooh. So there you go. That is a special promo figure, guys. There's Legolos right there in full armor. Uh... But yeah, this is a special promo figure, and uh, this is this is really nice from what I can see. And this is this is like the biggest box. So you guys know that I like to keep it clean on aisle 17 when I'm opening up my mini. So I have my trash bag here. I like to break down the boxes as I open them up. Uh, now this this is actually interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the case. Here's the full case. Four bricks. There's 32 packs of miniatures in here, 128 miniatures total. There's uh, four bricks of eight. So let me get out my scissors here. And this is factory sealed. I checked it because if it's not factory sealed, I don't want it because chances are they've been gone through and weighted and all of the heavy bricks have been taken out because of the bigger miniatures are in there. And I had that happen to me one time before, and I don't want that to happen again. So, without further ado, oh, this is totally awesome here, guys. This is awesome. So, inside of this case, there are four bricks. Four bricks like this with eight packs and a brick. And I've noticed first thing off of the bat that these things are back to a larger box starting with monster menagerie one and monster menagerie two tomb of annihilation and i think that's it they shrank the boxes to a smaller box so this tells me that of course the giants are huge so they've actually made the boxes bigger again so man man I'm super, super excited about that. Uh, I got my Starfinder shirt from the Paizo website. It was like 20-some bucks for the shirt. So, yeah, I buy a lot of lot of D&D shirts and stuff. So, all right, so here's, here's brick number one. I'm going to open up all of these. I'm super excited, guys. Man, this is, this is awesome. Oh, man, I can get, ooh, ooh, the aroma. I should lock myself in the closet and open these bad boys. I'd probably get, probably get, hi. Hi, everybody. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and put these over to the side. And remember, everybody, what's the saying? That's right. Keep it clean on aisle 17. I like to work neat. I don't want a bunch of crap all over the place. I threw the little mini box over there, but I can easily break that down and store I, I keep all my boxes so oh i'm excited guys there are a lot of great minis that are not in any of the any of the the sets so far man this is great it's nice to be opening up minis again really nice to be opening up minis again and i hope there's some 
<laughs> oh, wow, man. Totally. You could totally get blitzed on this stuff. So let's let's uh let's open up this first pack. What's up, Judo Killer? Good to see you, buddy. Looks like a giant right off of the bat. I'm gonna be like I said, this is gonna go a little bit slower because I do break everything down as I'm going, because I like to stay nice and neat neat and clean. So Alright, I'm gonna open up probably four at a time. Uh, miniature market. There's another. It looks like another giant. Wow. All these giants right off the bat. I don't see a dreadnought, although I've still got 30 packs to go. I would like to get... Man, if I could just get two of those dreadnoughts. Uh, this is actually a really light... A light box. Oh, these are awesome. It's like another damn giant. Are there anything else in these... Uh, miniature boxes besides giants with kids hopefully uh i'm gonna try to get stevie wonder on my stream uh as a special guest so i can ask him about him painting the miniatures for whiz kids and how a lot of the miniatures have their eyeballs on the back of their head and the the arms are attached backwards so I'm, we're gonna have stevie wonder on uh to ask him about how he likes working at whiz kids <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, I jest, Stevie. I know you're watching, but I'm sorry. You're, you, I don't want you on. <laughs> I love Stevie Wonder, but let's stick to music, Stevie. Oh, so look at that! Look at that right off the bat, ladies and joins. The Cyclops. My girlfriend used to call me Cyclops. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, here's the here's the Cyclops. Man, this is a huge figure. This is 26 of 45. And let's see, what is the rarity of the Cyclops? Uh, it's unknown. So, yeah, it's unknown. So this is so new that it doesn't have any of the common, uh, rare, or uncommon uh, tags. This is probably, I would say, this is probably uncommon or so. I like this Cyclops. And, oh my gosh, you can even see his balls hanging down from his loincloth. Oh, well, now he's impressive, dude. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Uh, so there you go. There's the uh, the Cyclops. Great looking mini. We're going to set him right off to the side. This is what we're going to do. He's got like a... He's got like a Fox Mulder haircut, too. <laughs> Hello, Fox. Welcome to the stream. I'm a big, I'm a huge fan. Uh, here we go. This looks like a looks like a stone giant, possibly. I think this is a I think this is yeah this is a stone giant, and it looks like he has a, a staff. So we'll put all this stuff to the side. Here we go. Here's the stone giant. He's also huge. This is a 29A, so there's going to be a variation. Supposedly, there is a spear version of this guy, and this is a staff version. So it looks like they're doing all these multiple versions with the Giants again, which I'm not a big fan of. I would have rather seen them do other large beasts or other huge uh, dragons or something like that, because there's still a lot of the uh, metallic dragons that we don't have. Uh, a lot of large beasts that I'd like to see. Uh, we really don't need giants, but these are actually pretty nice. Uh, so, what can we do? We have to take what WizKids gives us. But I would rather see, honestly, I would rather see more uh, variety. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh! Oh, the Dreadnought! Look at this thing! Oh! Oh! I've got a boner, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm sporting wood right now. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, the dreadnought. Look at that, man. Third, third pack, and I got the dreadnought, man. I'm not sure what this is. I am sure that this is probably rare. So I don't think there will be another Dreadnought in here. But look at that. A two-shield-wielding badass, man. Look at that. Look at that, man. That just looks so absolutely gorgeous, man. The detail on the shield. Look at that. He's saying, hi, 
I'm behind these two shields that I'm fixing to smash your face in with, boys and girls. Yeah, this is really nice. Wow. That is awesome. Wow, the Dreadnought. Third mini in. Thank you, Stevie Wonder. He strategically placed that. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. What is that? What is, what is that? What is like an Empyrean or something like that? Let me let me look through these. I would have to say that's probably an, I would have to say it's something like that. Yeah, it is. It is an Empyrean. Empyrean. Uh, there's two versions. There's one with a hammer, and then there's also one with a spiked hammer. So, all right, he's tied in there. I hope there's not a lot of minis that I gotta put together. I'm, I'm really. I hate putting these minis together and the stands and everything else because the stands don't work half the time. All right, here's the Empyrean. He has the hammer. Uh, look at that nice bent hammer. Thanks, Stevie. Thank you, thank you, Stevie. <laughs> I'm afraid to bend it almost. I might break it. So yeah, there's the hammer version of the Empyrean. He looks really good, man. He looks really nice. Look at that. Yeah, nice webcam quality. Look at that, guys. That's this is this is high production value, guys. Why why would you guys go anywhere else? I mean, this is just pure 300,000K HD. Uh, <laughs> uh, you guys want to open up more and save the little minis for later? Or do you guys want to... How about we open up one, one brick at a time with all of the, the large ones first? And then we'll do these... Ooh, there's a large... Here's a large mini in here. Oh, my goodness. How about we open up the other four larges? And we'll set these to the side. How about that? It'll dry. Ooh, this one's actually pretty heavy. Let me guess. It's another giant. <laughs> there you go. Oh, looks like it's a giant. Hello, giant. But the, yeah, it's nice that they're going back to the, the bigger boxes now. Hmm. Man, I ate fruit cocktail before I before I stream tonight for dinner. I actually cooked uh, I cooked boneless sirloin pork chops, and I made mashed potatoes and gravy, and then I had some fruit cocktail. Oh, that was so good! The fruit cocktail. I buy so much fruit in the can. Oh my gosh! I probably buy like thirty cans of canned fruit while I go to the grocery store. Man, I stock up on that stuff. Here's a here's another. Uh, my Jedi senses are gonna tell me that I'm gonna have a lot of extra giants going into the eBay lot from this set. Cause I think there's how many huge ones are there? I'm gonna count the huges really quick. There's four, eight, twelve. There's fifteen huge creatures. So there's going to be 15 different scattered among 32 packs. So I'm definitely going to get doubles, that's for sure. But can I get can I get the rare ones? That's that's what I'm hoping. All right. So here we go. Here's four more huge minis. Yeah, you're right, East. The the little baggies they look suspicious, and we'll get those opened up right after we get these last four larges. Uh, identified. So let's put these over to the side. Uh, oh, it looks like a... Oh, look at that good-looking frost giant. Are there multiple frost giants? Let me look this up really quick. Yes, there are. There's two frost giants. There is one with an axe, and there is one with a sword. This is obviously the one with the axe. So he looks really good. I, I like the color of him. I like the helmet. I like the uh, the beast shoulder pads that he has. This is a really nice frost giant. Really, yeah, all of the frost giants look really good. From Storm King Sunder, from the Monster Menagerie, 
Or no, not Monster Menage Ray, but Storm King's Thunder or Tyranny of Dragons. Yeah, I love the helmet, man. It's like a Skyrim helm, you know what I mean? So there you go. There's a uh, there's a Frost Giant. We'll kind of put him to the side. Frost Giant number one. Take these minis out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, he's oh he's caught. He's caught. <laughs> what is this? Oh wow, this is one of the oh wow, this is one of the rare giants. This looks like the. Sorry, I'm putting the uh, the plastic containers to the side, everybody. This looks like it is the rare frost giant everlasting one. He's got like a ooh, look, he's carrying like three heads. Look at that, that's cool. He's got like a bear, half of a bear hooked onto his belt. The detail looks really good with this uh, Huskarl. Uh, he's got an, uh, a nice uh, axe. Look at that. That detail is really nice. Yeah, this is really, really, really nice. The detail on these things are, are really nice. And the one thing that I've noticed about these Icons of the Realms minis is that every single edition uh, seems like the quality you know keeps getting better and better and better so yeah definitely a beautiful miniature that's really nice in fact I'm gonna bump the stone giant out and I'm gonna put him up there so you can continue to see him really nice all right next looks like a maybe a maybe a hill giant <clears throat> Uh, hey everybody <laughs> how do you like my boobies they hang down to my belly <laughs> get in my belly where's my dinner <laughs> this, is <def> <laughs> this is definitely a hill giant nice slobby hill giant and it's a female hill giant which is even better yet because there are no other female giants except for like the special named ones and stuff so this is actually really nice I like that. I like even like the the hair. I mean, this is good detail. Look at the detail of the backpack. It's got like a net. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more color, maybe, maybe a different color, brown instead of just Stevie Wonder dipping the whole back end of the miniature into the bucket of paint, into the the bucket and brown of brown paint. So Stevie did the backpacks on these. We're, we're gonna chalk that up uh, as a, as a Stevie Wonder backpack. So <laughs> good looking, good looking mini though. Man, I really like this Empyrean. Look at this Empyrean, man. This is this is awesome, man. Golly, man, that's really nice. All right, then we got one more. Ooh, what is this? Some kind of unfortunate miss like mistreated soul kind of is that like a what is that like a I don't think that's an ogre or anything let me let me check out what this dude is okay this is the oh and he's got like he's got like pumpkins in his hand look at that he's carrying pumpkins he says I'm hungry he's got like a ball sack for a belly too look at that this is the mouth of Grolanter the mouth of Grolanter, it's 27 of 45. So, yeah, this is nice. Oh, and he's got, like, look, he's even got pumpkin on his face. Good job, Stevie. It was like, Bra I think it was like Braille to him. He was feeling around, and, and he said, him and Helen Keller were like, oh, here's chunks of pumpkin. Let's paint them, <laughs> let's paint them orange. I like it, though. He's got shackles that are broken. He's got like a friar tuck hairdo. He's got his uh, his ankles are all are all chained up. I like it. Good detail. Mouth of Grolanter. Looks good. Let's open up some of these little small ones, shall we? Let's see what we get. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, look at that. The first one out of the gate. The gibbering mouther, man. Oh, look at that. Look at the detail on that. That is so freaking cool, man. The eyes have a definitive blue color. I like that. 
there's mouths, there's teeth in the mouths. Look at that. That is that is awesome. I think that's a monstrosity. I think it is. Mm, I like that. I wonder if it's rare. <clears throat> Let's look it up. I don't think it'll tell. It's It says unknown, but I'm sure it's probably uncommon. So, yeah, I would say probably uncommon. Uncommon, maybe rare, something like that. Oh, let's keep going, guys. These are awesome minis. I'm excited. Aren't you excited? I am. All right, now nah, they're not my minis. I'm not excited. Oh, look at this. Is this? Oh, look at that. Anybody know what this is? Quickly, quickly, two heads. It's not the Hellhound. The Hellhound has one. This is, I believe, the Death Dog. The Death Dog has two heads. What does it say? I can actually read it. It says Death Dog. So this is the two-headed Death Dog. Very nice. I like that. Let me see what this list is. Let me look it up. It says the Death Dog is actually common. So, yeah, looks like it's common. Looks nice, though. I like it. Good detail. Instead of just dipping it into black paint, uh, I'm glad that it has like a different color mane and stuff. All right, let's uh, let's go to the next one, ladies and gents. Ah, uh, this looks like what a knoll. Ooh, a two weapon fighting knoll. It looks like. Let me uh, stand by. Let me confirm this. Uh, stand <laughs> stand by. I need to confirm this. Yes, it is. It is a knoll. And the knoll is actually common, which is nice. I need a couple more knolls. I only have maybe about five or ten knolls. So having more knolls that are common are going to be really nice. Good looking knoll, though. A good detail. Really nice detail. I like it. Not the best looking knoll, but it's definitely a nice looking knoll for sure. Hey, what's up, uh, Chris? What's up? Hey, what's up, Will? Uh-oh, he won't stand up right. He's a little top-heavy. I had to stand him up a couple... Whoa, 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 easy, compadre. All these minis are stuck together. Let's uh, let's pull one of these. What is this? Ah, oh, another knoll. This is a variant, though. This one actually has a, a flail. This has got to be more rare. Either the two swords or this guy is a little more rare. Let's see. Let's see, the, the, the Knoll with two weapon fighting on swords is common. And it looks like this Knoll is probably going to be uncommon. Uh, it, even though it doesn't list it, it lists it as unknown. I would probably imagine that this would be an uncommon miniature. I would say uncommon. But definitely, I like this. Knolls are, 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 are big for using uh, flails. There's actually a couple knolls that are large that are, I believe are from the... I believe they were from, if I'm not mistaken, Rage of Demons. And they were actually large. And they had a huge flail. And it's definitely the best looking knoll. But this knoll's looking good too. I like this knoll. And I need more knolls. So that's nice. Okay, let's open up the next one. This is a, I can see some purple. So maybe it's a, I know that there's a couple of Kuatoas in here, which are good. I, I need more Kuatoas anyway. I've only got like 10 Kuatoa, but. Oh, here's the, remember this guy? I remember this is this is the man catcher, right? The Kuatoa man catcher, I think. Let's uh, check it out. Uh, it looks like they renamed him from man catcher to just Kuatoa. So, yeah, it, it definitely looks like he's he's been renamed. But, yeah, this is a common Kuatoa, which is okay. I like the man catcher that he has up there, ladies. And he's got a hook. Get over here! Good looking detail. Look at that. Got a hook. Got the man catcher. Look at that. He's saying, this is my man catcher. I don't think the Kuato would sound like that. That's more lizard manish. <laughs> now here's a little tiny here's a little tiny fella. I wonder if this is a kobold or there's some wing kobolds in here too, supposedly. So I'm excited about that because there's no wing kobolds and there's no archer kobolds. So 
Oh, here, here's a, another NPC. Like, we need another... I think this is probably going to be a gnome. Uh, this is a, a gnome wizard. Looks like a female gnome wizard, which is cool. She has a dagger. Looks like she has a dagger and a staff in her hand. It looks like she is uncommon, so hopefully we won't get too many of these. I, You know... This is another thing that perturbs me about these. We've got so many wizards, and we've got gnomes. Why don't we have more dragonborn? Why don't you make more goliaths? We need more of the races that are uncommon. We need those races. You keep giving us humans and elves and dwarves and gnomes. Stop it, whiz kids. we got enough of these. Please, do some other variety, for Christ's sake. I mean, seriously. I mean, these miniatures are beautiful, don't get me wrong, but quit making giants. I mean, seriously. Sure, we need the Dreadnought and the Empyrean and the Cyclops, but we don't need every single giant again. And especially variations of them. We just don't need them. I guess they forgot about Storm King's Thunder. Oh, this is a, this is a Kraken, isn't it? What is this? No, this is not a Kraken. What is this thing? This is actually interesting. All right. What is this? Is this a kraken? It looks like a kraken. I don't know. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta find it. I think it might be the kraken priest. I think it. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta find it. I'm a voodoo child, a voodoo child. I can't see it. This is a. Wow. I wish they would cover this stuff with like a, with like a white paint over the lettering. It's twelve. Vampire spawn? No. I think this might be the Kraken. Yeah, it is. This is definitely the Kraken. I thought, always go with your first instinct. Yeah, this is definitely the Kraken. I like this. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, look at that. It's nice. He's got his tentacles coming off. Looks good. Looks really good. I like it. Hey, what's going on, uh, Bat? Welcome, welcome. All right, so what do we got here? Ooh, is this a wing kobold? I hope it's a wing kobold. I'd love to have a couple wing kobolds. No, but it's not. Thanks, Bat. Thanks for the follow, man. Ooh, look at that. Now, I'll I'll take this human. He's got a freaking guitar, man. He's got like a Les Paul or something. <laughs> he's, he's rocking it. So it looks like this is going to be a more uncommon miniature, but this is a human bard. And then there's another human bard with a chain sickle also. So very nice color. It's purples and dark black, so I like the hair. He's got super hair. I, I like the cloak. I like his, his armor. Got multiple colors to the armor. The detail is pretty good. The guitar has got some detail. Yeah, really nice. I'm sure a bard would love to eat this up as a human or a half-elf or something. But yeah, that's got to be in common. No doubles yet. I'm glad. Uh, speak of the devil... Uh, I just got a another uncommon, well, actually another common null. So, speak of the devil, I had to open my mouth on doubles. That's my first double, which is okay, because I don't mind having I don't mind having nulls. All right, next. This is a weirdly shaped mini, an oddly shaped mini. Let's see what this is. 
Oh, 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 it's the Mesoloth. Look at that, man. That Mesoloth looks freaking awesome, man. Yeah, he's got to be uncommon, too. Yeah, look at that, man. Nice detail. Look at all the, the cracks in this chitin, chitin this uh, natural armor. Yeah, look at that. The spines on his back, on his on his heels, on his knees, the trident. Yeah, look at that. That looks really nice. The old Mesoloth. Look at that. I like it. Thanks for hanging out with us, Mr. Mez. Uh, no problem, David. I am going to kill one of your characters, hopefully, one day. All right, so here we go. What is this? Is this like a werebore or something? I don't know. Let's look at that. Looks like a werebore. Look at that. Who is awesome? Who can name creatures, guys? This is a werebore. I can tell by his pig snout. And, of course, he's hairy, so I kind of figured he was a lycanthrope. So there you go. There's a werebore, which is nice. We've got werebears, we've got werewolves, and now we got werebores. Awesome. Very nice. Yeah, man, I'm awesome, man. I'm like a savant. I'm like a, I'm like a d and savant. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Far from it. Oh, oh, here we go. There's a cute little uh, nilbog, I think. Yeah, this has got to be a nilbog. Yep. Why don't they have any flumps yet? Those are the cute little, you know, cute little creatures for, for 5e. So why is there no flumps yet? I, I'm kind of wondering that. Maybe they'll be in the next uh, Menagerie. Maybe Menagerie 4. But yeah, nice nice little Nilbog. Uh, I think he's probably uncommon. I think there's another. Is there any other Nilbogs? Let me hold on. Stand by, guys. I need to look this up. Now the Nilbog is uncommon. It's in with all the other it doesn't state that it's uncommon, but it's mixed in with all the other uncommon stuff, so I would have to say it's probably uncommon. Magmax, welcome. What's going on, man? Opening up my Monster Menagerie 3 minis. Oh come on, baby. Get out of there. Okay, here is the... I think this is the other version of the werebore. The werebore that I just got had a hammer. So I guess there is a werebore with an axe also? Yes, there is a hammer and an axe werebore. So I've got both variations of that now. Very good. I'd take another werebore, but that's about it. I, I don't want too many of them. I'd rather get, like, wing kobolds and mesoloths and so I can have, like, a whole army of mesoloths. All right, so this this looks like a, a magman. There's already a magman from the uh, uh, Elemental Evil set. But this is another magman here, another variant. He almost looks the same. But, yeah, nice little uh, common magman. Sure, we'll probably get a few more of those, which is okay. You can also, you can have your demons and your devils summon them. So here's another, uh, yeah, here's another two-headed uh, death dog. So I've got a couple of those. They're common. So now I'm starting to get a couple of doubles. I had to open my mouth. I really, I, I shouldn't have said anything. Let's see, what do we got here? Oops. Because I'm a voodoo child, voodoo child. Oh, oh, man. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. That is uh, pretty cool. I don't remember seeing this. This is the Neoji Master. Very nice. The Neoji Master. It's like a uh, spider slash kind of uh, insect. Yeah, it looks good. Very nice. Yeah, it's also on a stand too. 
Thankfully, I don't have to put that together. Thank you, WizKids. Ooh, let's look at this big one. Here's a large mini in a bag. What's up with that, man? What is this? Did I just get the the, the golden ticket, Willy, Mr. Willy Wonka? Did I, did I just get the golden ticket? Wow, this is like really stuffed in here. There's like no movement. Oh, man. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's like a it's not an illithid. It's something that's one of the variants of it. Let's look it up. This is the Ulitherid. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is a more rare creature. This is actually a uh, a large. I think it's uh, actually rare. This is actually one of the rare minis. Yeah, this is beautiful. Look at that. The Ulatharid. Man, this is beautiful. Man, I open up that bag, and man, you can get you can get high smelling this guy. What's up, Orange Autumn? Good to see you. Good to see you, Autumn. I'm just having fun opening up my toys. Boys and their toys, right? All right, here we go. Here's a another. Here's an aquatic. Uh, this is what a sea guy, a sea man, sea spawn. This is the uh, the sea spawn. Looks good. He's got those like cauliflower ears, like Chuck Liddell. Good detail for for a smaller miniature. He's got really good detail. He's got the, the little fins on his on his uh, calves and on his arms and good color green with some other uh, paints mixed in some other colors nice job it's been a little while orange autumn it has it's so good to see you haven't seen you since the game here's another neil bog oh here's the rare neil bog check that out are you still in school autumn are you still over there in uh, hawaii See, I don't, I don't forget this stuff on them. I've, I've been wondering how you've been doing. So actually, this is, this is not a nil, this is not a nil bog. My eyes deceive me. Orange Autumn got me all excited about being in the channel, so my, I kind of messed up my chi a little bit. So this is a goblin. Yeah, this looks good. Goblin with no weapon, but like a maybe a, a torch or maybe a, a wand or something that maybe he's fixing to cast a fireball on my level one party. <laughs> what a dick DM, huh? Fireball on a level one party? You could do it. If they're just murder hobo... I'm fixing to do a murder hobo video, guys. You guys are going to like this. <laughs> I'll have that out next week. I've made like three videos I got I to gotta get edited, but I'm having a problem with blue screens. Oh, well, there you go. What the heck is this? This is this is not the Sturge. This is the Sturge. Look at that. What is... Th I've been waiting for a Sturge Mini, and this is it? What? Uh, I know the Sturge is a small creature, but come on. At least make it big enough to where you can see it. At least see its proboscis. Eh, I guess you can. I guess you just got to really be... You get really got to look at it good. But there's a Sturge. Finally, we get a Sturge Mini. Thank you. Thank you, WizKids. And thank you, Stevie Wonder. <clears throat> Whoa. Orange, you've been busy, girl. Or Orange has been getting married and... Wow. Got a, got a kid now? Wow. Congratulations. So here's a now yeah, look at that. I, I called for a dragonborn and here we go. Here's a dragon board with a, a dragonborn with a sword and board. That is nice. I like that. Thank you. An NPC that we actually need. Oh, this is my eighth full case that I've opened up, uh, orange. I've opened up like <laughs> like eight cases of these. Every series I've bought. Yeah, so here's there's also I'm looking there's another variant too. This is a, it looks like a, an uncommon dragonborn fighter, so that's cool. So there's another one with a, with an axe also an axe and axe and board. 
Autumn's been busy. Well, welcome back, Autumn. Good to see you. Don't be a stranger. Oh, here's a kobold. Here's another little kobold or a kobold, as some people call them. Whatever. I know what people are saying. I don't correct them. It's a kobold. It's a kobold. However you want to say it, guys. All you grammar Nazis out there, just stop it. Stop it. Everybody knows what everybody is saying. So just stop with the damn uh, the damn grammar Nazism, please, guys. There's a little kobold. Of course, I've shown it to you off screen because I was yelling at the webcam. A dog. Okay, I got you. Well, congratulations. Oh, nice little kobold. We got a couple more. Let's see. Oh, oh, judo. Thank you for the thanks for the bits, man. A hundred minis. I'll be opening up. I'll be getting 128 minis tonight. Here's what we need more of too: methods. And there's a bunch of methods. And there's two in this series. So there's the magma method right here, which is cool. Uh, and then there's also a mud method too, and they're both common. So good job. This is the uh, this is the magma method. I wish there was a little bit more color in there, maybe a little bit more of a lava color, but it looks like Stevie Wonder and Helen Keller just took this, held it upside down, and dipped it right into the brown paint. So uh, way to go, Stevie. Thank you. <laughs> WizKids. It, I, I know you're watching WizKids, and I know you're just cringing over there, and I'm sorry, but I'm just having fun. Here's a... Uh, <laughs> 128. Thanks, Judo. I appreciate it. Here's a another one of those uh, goblins with the torch. I like that. I like this goblin. He's got good color, got robes, and all that other stuff. I like it. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. That is that that is the goblin. Man, it's awesome. All right, so. I should bat. I don't think they will, though. <laughs> you should you should send them an email. You should send them an email. Everybody should send them an email and say that, I've been buying these miniatures because of Dave. You should give him free miniatures. And then that would be more miniatures that I would give out to everybody in the channel. Because I will give some miniatures out. I just got to get my final tally of my minis so there you go guys that's the first brick for my case i still have wow look at this guys i still got three more of these bricks to go three more to go that's eight times three 24 more packs to go guys kick it up you guys can hear me i'm wondering if i should just do one of these a night and then just uh just say to hell with it. We'll just do one. All right, guys. It was nice streaming. I think I'm going to head out. Uh, I think we'll just do one at a time. So, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know you guys, as soon as the, the the delay on the on the stream catches up, you guys will be saying, open up another brick. So, let's go ahead and we'll just open up another brick. We'll, we'll at least do one more brick for tonight. So, so let, me, uh, let me get this thing in here. Here we go. I got my trusty handy dandy trusty scissors Ooh, as I just about slice my my cord to my second cam that I have alright we're going to still keep it clean on aisle 17 I don't know where the hell I got that from keeping it clean wow you can get so high uh, I should have opened these up in the, in the bathroom or something and just gotten totally obliterated by smelling the the toxic fumes coming off of the ooh, this one's actually heavy That'd be nice if that was another Dreadnought, wouldn't it? I don't think, guys and gals, I don't think we'll be seeing another Dreadnought. But I don't think, I don't think, uh, Orange, I don't think you were here for the Dreadnought. I got the, I got the Dreadnought out of the third pack of minis that I opened up. So if you guys are getting here late, sorry, I'm putting everything in my bag. Here's a, here's the Dreadnought that I got, the third one, the... The two shield wielding dreadnought. Look at that. That is just absolutely beautiful, isn't it? 
great detail nice metallic like silver coloring got like a tarnished look to it man this thing looks so freaking awesome I totally want to put one of these on on my party I don't know why but I, I just I just do it looks so awesome doesn't it damn it's like bonerlicious man <laughs> bonerlicious all right here we go open it up uh we'll open up four packs kind of put them to the side you know it's kind of a bummer there's like no discount codes in here or anything like that for uh like uh legends of the sword coast or never winter online kind of sucks i was kind of hoping there'd be some more discount codes to give away everybody liked those discount codes exactly jakeed jackied six nine i wonder what the six nine means is that your birth year <laughs> are you kidding me oh my god guys oh my gosh oh i got another dreadnought are you kidding me oh my god that is amazing i that never happens getting rare miniatures like that too two of the same rare miniature no way that never ever ever happens i mean you got well it did in my tyranny of dragons case when i got two of the green dragons it it did happen then but that's like the only other time look at that i got two dreadnoughts man one of those dreadnoughts would look really nice in the ebay lot wouldn't it that's going on ebay for a penny all my extra doubles and well my triples and quadruples of stuff here's another one looks like uh looks like the other hopefully the other stone giant man i cannot believe i got another dreadnought that is just that's pretty awesome here's this is pretty heavy too this is the heaviest one so it looks like another frost giant all right so there we go we got four packs i'll open up four at a time so we can see the larges and then i'll open up four more for more larges uh and then we'll open up the the small packs and then that'll be halfway and then i'll have 16 packs opened up so uh what i'm gonna do is if i've already got the miniature i'm just gonna set it to the side but i don't have this yet this is the other variant of the frost dragon that i don't have and with these seeing that you know there are a lot of giants and i already have i have like 50 giants already uh, i'm only going to keep one of each of these so these are the only two of the frost giants that i'm keeping out of this case because i want the variants this is the axe and the sword variant so all of the other frost giants that i get are going right into the ebay lot so uh yeah there's gonna be a lot of nice giants in that ebay lot so if you guys don't know you guys haven't heard i am doing an ebay lot of all of my extra uh minis and stuff which is going to allow me to a uh purchase the 33 miniatures that i don't have which i don't have i don't have the grail i don't have the blank dog and i do not have the uthgart barbarian with hair i have the bald one but i need i need the uh oh man look at that dreadnought man that is just absolutely bonerlicious man i'll tell you what i'm gonna keep two dreadnoughts if if i get another dreadnought it's going right into the the ebay lot i think that would be pretty cool i think that would be fair wouldn't i because i don't think i need more than honestly i don't even think i need more than one dreadnought to be honest but we'll see <clears throat> yes more dreadnoughts orange more okay so i already have one of the giants one of the stone giants i have the i have the female stone giant uh i'm not stone giant but hill giant with no weapon at all so that's one variant and then here's the other one now which is i'm only going to keep two uh here's the one that she has the spear which is really nice i i i, I really like this female oh and her backpack is actually black so stevie good job again on painting and with all of the exquisite painting detail uh what stevie did was he taped off the backpack 
and then he just dipped it into the black uh, paint can. That's how he painted this. Thank you, Stevie. Appreciate it. <laughs> I'm such a dick, ain't I? <laughs> so there you go. There's the female. Uh, all of the other, all of the other uh, stone giant, uh, hill giants, will be going into the eBay lot. So. I don't need any more giants. If you've seen my miniature shelf, which I will show you guys at the end, I have got plenty of minis. Okay, so I've already got this stone giant here with the uh, spear. I've already got this, so this is going to get set to the side, and he is going into the eBay lot. So there's the first miniature going into the eBay lot, and we're only uh, 12 packs in. So here we go, opening up the last four of the second brick. Uh, looks like another, I think that is, what, I don't know, I may not have that yet. I'm not sure what it is, I didn't look. I think that might be another Cyclops. But I think, I. how, how many Cyclops do you guys think I'd need, two? I know Cyclops are a pretty high challenge rating. Can anybody look up Cyclops for me in the monster manual and tell me what challenge rating they are? Another uh, pack here. This is definitely a Cyclops here. I may keep two Cyclops. I think that's probably going to be the only amount of Cyclops that I keep. Probably two. I think they're around challenge rating 10 or 12, aren't they? Here's a pretty heavy one. This might be another, another hill giant. But this is actually pretty heavy. Ooh, another Empyrean. And this is the one with the the hammer so he's also going to be going into the the ebay lot and this ebay lot is a full case of miniatures there are hundreds of miniatures that are going to be in this in this lot so save your pennies boys and girls because i'm going to put a minimum bit of one penny on that uh on that ebay lot and i'll give everybody plenty of time and notice at least a couple of days notice so here's the, the last mini out of the second brick. I think that's another uh, another one in chains. I think it's another one of the, what is it? The, yeah, the mouth of Gorlanter. And there's only one of him, so I'll probably only keep two of the Gorlant, mouth of Gorlanters, and then the rest will go into the, uh, the eBay lot. <coughs> but... The miniatures that, that I need, the 33 miniatures that I need, are very expensive. They are all rares and ultra rares. And they're, a lot of them are in the $10 and $15 range. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to... That's why I'm selling these extra miniatures, is to get, get that stuff. And then I'm thinking about selling my, my fourth edition miniatures, which are super expensive... Uh, I may sell those too and buy books that I need, like uh, Call of Cthulhu and a bunch of Savage World stuff. So, all right, here's another uh, Grolanther. So I'm gonna keep two of him. Uh, you could also put, you could use these as like you could use these as ogres too. I don't I don't see why not. But I mean, ogres are large. These are huge. These are a three by three. So you could make like an ogre on crack or something like that. So, all right. So I'll put all the other uh, mouths of uh, Golanther in the eBay lot. So here is the Cyclops, and I had someone say that they are CR six. So I will keep two Cyclops. I don't think I'll need more than two Cyclops. Uh, this is the same variant, so there's no difference. There's only one Cyclops. So I will I will keep him and keep the the one that I just got and now all of the other cyclopses. And like I said, there's only there's 15 huge miniatures. So I'm going to be getting rid of quite a few of these. All right. So here's uh the Empyrean. There's uh there's two Empyreans. This is the spiked hammer Empyrean, which I think the Empyreans aren't they like challenge rating they're pretty high challenge rating, right? They're like, what, 10, 12, I think? 8, 10, 12, somewhere around there. So this is going in the eBay lot. I'm only going to keep one of the Empyreans. I don't think I'll need more than two. So let's uh, let's put him in the 
and the other in the uh, in the lot. So there we go. We got two already. Two already in the lot. And the last large mini we got was <gasps> oh <laughs> Oh, uh, look at that. The Goblin War Machine. Look at that. The Goblin Hucker. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, yeah. The yeah the Imperion. Yeah, I, I knew they were up there, man. I didn't think they were that high. But, yeah, I'll only keep one of each of them. Oh, look at this. Look at this Hucker, man. This is... Oh, my gosh. Look at the detail on that, guys and gals. Look at that, got a little, it's got a goblin up here in the chair. Oh man, an ogre with a, look at that awesome shield plate that he has on. And the handles with a, all of the machinery and the gidgets and the ga Oh look, there's another goblin here sitting on the side. He's controlling the arm, I guess. Oh, this is definitely the best miniature so far out of this out of this set. I'll tell you what, I, I really like this. I and I like the dreadnought too. And I like the Mesoloth. I think those three minis are like the, the awesome minis so far. And this werewolf, this two weapon fighting werewolf, he has totally got some top top heavy issues and he keeps falling over. <clears throat> but look at that detail, guys. That is just awesome. All the wooden planks and the wheels and everything holding this thing together with the chair and spikes. Look at the spikes on the fist. This guy's gotta be rare. Yeah, he's rare. He's he's rare along with the Yeah, he's rare with the uh Ulatharid. He's rare with the Neoji Master. So that's cool. We've got quite a few of the rare ones already but what would be awesome would be to get another one of these that would be awesome i don't know if it's going to happen but that would be cool if it did i i think this is probably i think this is probably the best the best looking mini so far and i totally forgot about this guy too <clears throat> what do you guys think in chat i think this is probably the best looking mini along with the dreadnought this looks simply absolutely awesome and perfect English grammar there too. Look at that. That looks so good, man. That is bonerlicious. I, I'm giving that probably. <clears throat> I'm giving that a, a a like a stiff ten for a uh, on the bonerlicious meter. <laughs> the bonerlicious meter. How stupid can I be? Oh my gosh. All right. Let's look at all these. Let's let's look at all these other. Uh, small and medium creatures and maybe even large creatures i mean there was a large creature in here last time yeah that looks so good yes will i will be taking that to bed with me tonight you better believe it buddy he'll be oh oh the gibbering mouthers down roll saving throws yeah this looks really good look at that that's the other dragonborn yeah, I got the sword already. Here's the axe. Man, look at that. Dragonborn, man. Do more NPCs like this. Look, he's got a Punisher shield. Oh! Oh, my gosh! Please do more minis like this, WizKids. I mean, come on. We need more oddity. You know, do a bunch of Dragonborns. Do some rogues. Do some two weapon fightings do one with a bow as a ranger or or a rogue do one with a staff or a wand or something but quit making freaking human wizards and elf wizards for the love of god man this is the stuff that we need for the icons of the realms this kind of stuff <clears throat> beautiful dragonborn i really like that miniature that's a great looking npc man if i was playing a dragonborn fighter this is what this is what Warner would look like right here. That's Warner. That's how I envision Warner as a paladin or a fighter. He's badass right there, man. Here's something on a on a stand. This may be another one of those awesome Sturges. Yep, it is. I'm glad that I got another one. I'd like to have about four or five of these, if not even more. Because you know it's always fun to zerg a level one party with a bunch of Sturges. 
and you know he you know i want to make more videos of just crazy encounters that new players to D&D just won't do so you take a bunch of sturges of course they're one hit kills but when they get their proboscis into you and they're attached to you and you take like auto damage every round there's nothing funner than seeing new players to D&D running around with their heads cut off with all these sturges stuck into them so sturges are a fun level one encounter and I really highly recommend you uh, if you're a DM to do sturges they are a fun encounter. Here's another Magman. I'm not going to go in and show these uh, big time because I've already showed most of them. If it's a new mini, I'll spend more time showing it to try to speed up the process here. <clears throat> okay, here's another uh, another goblin. This is like the third goblin with the with the uh, torch or whatever. I think this is another one of the. I think this is the uncommon knoll with the flail and sword yeah this looks good i i really like this i'm only going to keep two of these guys so if i get any more of these these knolls will definitely go into the uh into the ebay lot yeah that looks really good that's a, that's a nice knoll right there <clears throat> yeah these these knolls and yeah these knolls are are, are definitely top heavy because they're leaning over uh, a little bit too far so I'm having a problem with them falling over all the time. I don't know if you guys have noticed them, but I mean, if you just breathe on them wrong, they they fall over. What is this? Is this an another nilbog? It is. This is uh, another nilbog. I, I wonder if there's a there's no variant on the nilbog. I don't think. No, there's not. There's not. I haven't gotten any wing kobolds yet. I'd like to have a wing kobold. That would be. I'd like to have a bunch of those actually. They're uncommon, but there's another Nilbog. Put him to the side. Well, I think... Oh, no way. I got another Mesoloth, guys. That's nice. I like that. The Mesoloth is definitely... This is definitely a uh, uh, an uncommon creature. I like the Mesoloth. I really like him. Probably won't keep too many of them, though. I know they're not a very high challenge rating, but I, I don't think I'll keep many of them. <clears throat> Here's another one of the the werebores. I've already got both of the werebores, so we'll uh, we'll put him there. I'm gonna kind of push these guys back. Kind of running out of a little room here. Oh, okay, cool. Here's another Kuatoa. Yeah, this is definitely a Kuatoa. This is the other variant, because remember, I got the man catcher the first time. This is the Kuatoa with the whip and the hook. So there you go, ladies. Whip, hook. Sorry about that. <laughs> You're such a pervert, Dave. Hey, I'm a single guy. I haven't been in a relationship in years and years and years, except for talking to Miss Scarlet for a couple years. But how'd that work out for me? There you go. Another Magman. Third Magman. Don't think I'll keep any more of those. I already got like five of them. Oh! Look at this tiefling. Holy shit. This tiefling's got a tail, too. Look at that. This is a tiefling rogue. This is the kind of stuff we need. Thank you, Icons of the Realms. That is a good-looking tiefling, man. Good color, good armor. Look, it's got, like, little silver studs on it for the studded armor. Nice cloak. A tail. Nice, man. This is this is badass. Got a little hand axe. Yeah, this is this is nice. This is a, uh, this is a, another at least rare. No, this is going to be at least uh, uncommon, maybe rare. So that's nice. <clears throat> wow, that's that's really cool. What next? Oh wow, I got look at that. I got another Kraken. I got another Kraken priest. The Kraken priest was rare, wasn't it? Or was the Kraken priest in with the Yeah, I th I think it's probably uncommon. This is probably uncommon here. 
But the Kraken Priest definitely looks good. I've already got one. That's the second one. I don't want too many. But oh, oh, I got an invisible mini. The invisible minis are not even listed on the... No, this isn't invisible. Whoa, this is... Oh, <laughs> look what this is. The smallest of the Beholder family. Here's the Gazer. There's the Gazer. Look at that little tiny thing. This is a little four-eyed mini Gazer. That's cool. He's common also. <laughs> a little cute little feller. I'm surprised that's the first one I got in him. Looks like another Mephit here. All right. Here is, uh, I think this is, yes, this is another, this is another one of the, the Magma Mephits. He's got a little yellow on him. I, th I think Stevie hit him with a, swiped him with a yellow brush. <clears throat> his uh his six pack is yellow <laughs> his six pack a method with a six pack holy cow here's another kraken priest well this is going in the ebay lot i, I don't need more crack i don't need like more than a couple kraken priest because you could actually put those with the kua and stuff too or the Sahawagan, or I don't know. I'm mean, three will be good. I, I don't think I'll need more than three. <gasps> oh my God! Look at this, guys. Now this is going to be a rare. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. This is an awesome R Paladin. Yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. Look at those wings, man. Nice, clear, transparent wings. This is definitely a uncommon mini here. Wow, this is nice. An awesome R2 weapon fighting paladin. That is nice. Yeah, this is really, this is a beautiful miniature right here. And it's a female too, which is even better yet. I think this is a female. Yeah, it looks like a female, which is even better yet because... You don't get a whole lot of female miniatures unless they're like elves and dwarves and stuff. So this is a pleasant delight right here. I like this right here. But yeah, Judo, they 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 definitely need, yeah, I agree with you. They definitely need to do more variety on the, the newer races and classes, so <clears throat> So you figure what, there's three hundred plus monsters in the book, and with three of these monster menagerie sets out they've done maybe what a third of the a third of the player's handbook so i would expect more and more monster menagerie sets to come out so here's another kobold here's a kobold with a sword you can never have too many kobolds uh, i think i'm up to about 15 or 20 kobolds and i'm sorry there will be no kobolds there will be no goblins no orcs uh none of that stuff in the ebay lot because i mean let's just face it you can never have too much of that stuff oh here's another new one Oh, wow, look at that. That is awesome. Uh, God, this is a slot, isn't it? Yeah, this is the gray slot. Wow, look at that, man. Holy cow, he's like casting a spell, like a like a firebolt or a fireball or, or something like that. Wow, that's really nice. Look at that, man. Finally, some slots, man. And there's all kinds of different colored slots, too, so... Let me look this up really quick. This looks like it's going to be an uncommon, and it looks like there's uh, another slot also that has no fireball. So there's one with uh, just claws. That's really nice. I like the slots. Slots are another nice low-level encounter uh, to have as well. I, you know what? That's what I want to do. I, I, I want to just stop putting games on my channel. I, I want to start just talking about encounters and stuff like that oh here's a this is a vampire spawn i think yeah this is a vampire spawn there's a and they're both female too the the vampire spawns are females which is nice so it's good to see more female miniatures so there's two of these there's one these are uncommon and there's one with the yellow dress and then there's one with like a a really pale green dress or something like that so she looks good. You look damn good, baby. <laughs> Where have you been my whole life? Vampire spawnling. I don't know. And Van Helsing, those vampire spawnlings, they were pretty cute. 
It takes a lot for me to say, damn, she is just effing fine. I don't do that very often. I did with Kate Beckinsale, but now I don't say that about her anymore because she has joker face. She's had too much work done. She just looks fake. She looks like a young version of uh, Joan back if she was still alive. Yeah, there's another man catcher. Yeah, these are pretty cool. Got one of those already. <clears throat> oh! Uh-oh, here's Monodrone number three of the series. I like this. Yes, there we go. Look at that. This is number three. This is the Quadrone. Yeah, this is awesome. Got a bow? Yeah, I'd like to have a couple of these. This is the third one. There was a couple put out in Monster Menagerie 2. Well, in one of the sets. I can't remember. There's so many minis and all the sets, so... I think there's about, I think I got about a thousand plus minis. Oh, there we go. There's my wing kobold. There's the wing kobold. There's the kobold. Now that is nice. I like the wing kobold. 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 However you want to say it. Really cool. I think there's only one of these. And the sword's almost as big as him. <laughs> Good color, though. I like it got a tail got the wings all spread apart i like it looks good yeah the old wing kobold hope i'd like to get a couple more of those i wonder if there's going to be any invisible minis in this set it doesn't show any invisible miniatures maybe there won't be any invisible miniatures well i won't be i won't be disappointed if there's none there's another man catcher it's like my third one I don't think I'll keep two more of those. Here's a pretty, pretty big miniature. I think this might be another death dog. Yep, there's my third, <clears throat> my third two-headed death dog. I won't be keeping too many more. I probably won't be keeping any more. So, yeah, this is nice, and this is a small set too of only 44 miniatures. So, I'm actually may end up getting the the whole entire set which would be super super nice so there you go guys and gals there's two bricks that are open that's half the case half the case is open you guys want to see me open the other case up the other two the other two boxes or well the other two uh bricks i mean it is uh it's 10:30. So I guess I guess I could do the other two bricks. I don't know. It depends on what you guys think. You guys think I should open up the other the other sixteen packs? I still have two more of these left. I still have two more two more bricks left. I guess I could open them up. Kelly, what's up, Kelly? Who? Good to see you. Yeah, you guys are you guys are looking to op have me open them up. So yeah, I'll do that. I've got man, I've got a I've got like five six videos ready to go, like product reviews for Starfinder and maps and so let, let all right, let's continue on. So all right, here's a uh, brick number three. Well, actually, before I open up the brick, let's let's kind of do a Let's let's kind of see what what I have. Let's let's uh hmm. Let's kind of put the let's kind of turn the webcam off. And now I kind of move myself over to the right a little bit so you guys can see my beautiful mug. And plus you can see the content. So here's the mini's gallery. And like I said, I've already opened up two of these. I've opened up two two uh, booster bricks, which is 16 packs. So I've got the Magman. I've got the Magma Mephit. I don't think I've got the Mud Mephit yet. Let me let me double check that. I've got two Mephits, but they look the same. So, uh, yeah, they are. They're both, they're both Magma Mephits. So I'm still missing the Mud Mephit which is common, which I'm surprised I'm actually missing that after two. Uh, I've got a couple of Sturges. 
I got a couple of, I've got one gazer. I've got uh, a couple kobolds or kobolds, however you want to say it. I don't care. A couple goblins. I've got a couple of the two weapon fighting gnolls. I've got three of the Kuatoa uh, man snatchers is what they were called, but they just switched it to Kuatoa. Uh, I've got three death dogs. I've got the vampire spawn in yellow. I need this vampire spawn in the light brownish. I've got the Nilbog. I've got the Winged Kobold. I've got the Gnome Wizard with the fire in her hand. I'm missing the uh, Gnome Wizard with whatever this, maybe uh, some type of casting implement or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I've got the Null Flesh Gnawler. This, that's the one that has the uh, uh, flail and sword. I've got the Kuato Whip. I've got the Quadrone. I've got the Werebore Hammer. I've got the Werebore Axe. Uh, I do not have the Human Bard with the Chain Sickle. I hope I get that. That's nice. I've got the, the Human Bard with the Guitar with the Les Paul 64 Stratocaster or whatever it is. Uh, I've got two of the Mesoloths. I've got three of the Kraken Priest. I've got one of the Sea Spawns. I've got both of the Dragonborn Fighters which is nice. So let's see, I'm missing the bard, one of the gnomes, one of the spawns. I'm missing, let's see, the mud method. So that means I'm missing four, five with the the slod, what fucking mosquito, how'd that mosquito get in here? I haven't even seen a mosquito in Texas. That's the first one. So, uh, uh, Gray Slod, how did that mosquito... Is, are there supposed to be mosquitoes in Texas? I didn't think there were. I thought I got rid of those when I left Florida. But anyway, uh, I'm missing the Gray Slod with the claws. I got the Gibbering Mouther. I got the Tiefling Rogue. <clears throat> I got the Awesome R Paladin. I do not have the Triton Fighter. That Triton Fighter looks really good. Uh, let's see. So that means I'm missing six. I'm missing the bearded devil. I'm missing the nameless one. Uh, I, I'm missing the arcana loth. I got the neoji master. I got the goblin hucker. I got the uh, ulathara with the staff. Okay, there's a variant with a spell. So there's I'm missing ten. <clears throat> now for the giants... I got that son of a bitch. Fucking Mr. Miyagi style. I was just missing... <laughs> I was missing the chopsticks. <laughs> so I got... I'm missing ten. I got the Cyclops. <gasps> There's two Cyclops. I didn't even notice that. There's a Cyclops with a club and a Cyclops with an axe. So one of these is going back into... I only want one of the Cyclops, one of each. So one of these Cyclops are going back into the, the eBay lot. So I'm missing 11. Uh, I've got the Hill Giant unarmed. I've got the Hill Giant spear. I have got the Empyrean with the spiked hammer. I need the, I need the hammer. So that's 12 that I need. I've got the Mouth of Gerlanter. I've got both of the Frost Giants with the axe and the sword. I've got the stone giant with the staff. I'm missing the spear. So that means I'm missing 13. I've got two dreadnoughts. How awesome is that? Oh, man, these storm giants look really good. And these, uh, I'm missing two rare storm giants, which takes me up to 15 minis. So I'm missing 15 minis, and I have the frost giant everlasting one. So I'm missing 15 minis, only 15 minis out of this... Uh, this uh, set of 44. And like I said, this shows no invisible miniatures. So thankfully, and uh, well, hopefully, they gotten away from those, invi those horrible invisible miniatures. They are absolutely garbage. I mean, they'd be good to use for Ghost or maybe a Spectre or something like that. You could use them for that. But I, I don't... I, why put a miniature invisible on the table? Your players are going to know where the invisible miniature is. It's like it's like a one-legged man going to an ass-kicking contest. It doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs>